Most paleontology labs and museum host a humongous collection of rocks, fossils and minerals. When scientists study these fossil records, they publish it. Paleobiology database is a website which is a catalog of all these published fossil records where you will find these across time and across space. So let's explore the app and see the features in it. You can find the website by just searching PBDB. And the first link would take you there. Or you can just type paleobiodb.org. You'll see this graphical interface where you have these three options. And you can see that this database is constantly updated. Whatever recent changes are made to the database are usually displayed on the home page. You can see the number of references which are used for this database, the taxas which are recorded and the collection and occurrences and the number of contributors who have made this database. To search things here, you can directly search it over here and say you want to search a taxon Mammothus and click enter. So to explore this navigator, you can go to data and click on visualize. You could see that the map has appeared and there are a lot of interactive tools on the left and at the bottom. At the bottom, you'd see that it's a color coded geological time scale. Over the map, you can see all the citations of fossils in various location of earth. Now, if you look at the bottom panel, you would see the geological time scale. Using your cursor, you can move this and go to different age. If you go really back in time, say in the Archean and you click on it, you will see the same color code for any fossil occurrence of that time. And you could see for the Archean, which is way back in the geological time scale, there are barely any fossil records. So let's go to a more recent timeline. Let me click on Proterozoic and I can now see all the fossil records for the Proterozoic. When I'm checking the fossil records for any of the ages, you will see on the right bottom corner, the number of collections and the occurrences for that time. And if I now click on Phanerozoic, you'll see the fossil records have increased tremendously. At the right bottom, the numbers are now 2,27,628 collections, which have all these 15,69,916 total occurrences. Since there are so many circles which are present on in any of these locations, they are all colored differently. And each color represent the time and each circle represent the age of the fossil. If I click on any of the circles, you would see that on the geological time scale, it is also highlighted. So if I go on this green circle over here, it is showing in the Cretaceous time. If I go over here, it is from the Devonian and this one's from the Triassic. If I click or tap on any of the circles, it would give me more details of the collection number, the number of occurrences at that location, what is the interval and the stratigraphy in which this was found, the lithology, the environment for this occurrence and the details of the occurrences which includes the information of phylum, class, family, genus, all for that fossil collection. In the general panel, you will also see the reference from which this data has been derived and the location in terms of latitude and longitude. You must have noticed as we click on different geological time scale. Now let's explore the tools which are present at the left top corner. With the plus tool, so the first, so the first tool on the top is the plus and with that you can zoom in 
on the map to see the fossil collections and with this subtraction sign you can zoom out of the screen. Since we are looking at all the fossil records in the Phanerozoic time, the filters at the left bottom corner show Phanerozoic. So if I uncheck it and close it, it would reset it back to normal. Now let's try searching a specific taxon from the search panel which is available at the right top corner. If I type Mesosaurus, it will show me the collection of Mesosaurus and you can see all of these are from Permian. If I try to search for the same in Proterozoic, there are no occurrences of it. So the fossil record for all of this are specifically from the Phanerozoic time and most from Permian or all are from Permian. Now let me try clicking on any of these circles. I can see that this has been found, the collection is from Sukal Limestone Quarry and this is the collection code for it. It was found in limestone mudstone chert and the environment is carbonate, the latitude and longitude for this location and the reference paper. I can also check the occurrences in the occurrences, I can check that this is a genus. It's from the phylum Chordata, class Ostichthyes, family Mesosauridae and genus Mesosaurus. Now these fossils are present in the current map and on these geological spaces. In order to see how the map looked like for Permian, you can use the third tool which is present on the top panel and if you click on it, it would show you the geological map, which is why this catalog is so useful because you can see them across the stratigraphy and also across geographic location. So with the stratigraphy, you can see the occurrence in time and with the geographic information, you can see its occurrence in space. The fourth tool, which is the toggle taxa browser, if you click on it, you will see the various taxas which are if you click on the fourth tool, which is the toggle taxon browser, you'll see the taxon information for the same. So let me uncheck the Mesosaurus option and just go to Phanerozoic. So for the Phanerozoic, you can see all the taxons which are here. You can also type the taxonomic name over here and search for something for this time. If I check in Jurassic by clicking on it, and I'll close the browser. I can now see the fossil records in Jurassic or Cretaceous. So I'll go to the main map and now check for Cretaceous. And I'll see all the fossil records for Cretaceous. If I go on to the toggle tags on browser, I would have the information for all of this. And so if I click on any of that, I can see all the classes, orders and families within that taxon. So for the same time, you can also check the diversity graph of it, which would be here. So for Cretaceous, I can also take a screenshot of this map and download this data by using this download tool, which is the last second tool from the top. I can also get a link for it or I can download the references, the diversity summary or full diversity method along with it. In order to see how the diversity has changed over time, you can use the next tool which is the diversity curve. If you click on it, you will see the diversity curve for Cretaceous. Let's look at a wider time range and make sense of the data which you get from diversity curve. So I'll click on Phanerozoic and now if I go to the diversity curve data, you'll see that the x-axis represents the geological time. The y-axis shows the number of samples which are available and you can see that the diversity 
has increased significantly across the time. You can also download this diversity curve by clicking here or you can save this image. You can view this information for the genus, different families or the orders. And you can do similar search for any other taxon too. So let me search another one, Mastodontidae and look for its fossil occurrences. We can find it in all of them in Cenozoic and if I click on any one of them, I can check that there are two collections. This one, it's number, there are there is one occurrence of it and it's present in sandstone claystone lithology and the environment is terrestrial. Similarly, I can go back to the other collection and southwest of Mount Blanco and this has a different collection number and this is present in sandstone lithology, also in terrestrial environment. I can also compare these two collections parallelly and check for the references which have cited these. There is another way of browsing these data. For that, you can go to the home page and go to the search tool over here. In the search tool, search for fossil taxa. You can either search it by the common name or search it by the scientific name. So let me search the same things, mammoths here as well. When I go to search, I'll see all the distributions across the map and how many of them are present. So you can see that there is one occurrence in Russia, whereas three in China and so on. If I click on more details, I now have more set of tools. So I can check not just the basic information, I can check the taxonomic history of it. I can check the classification information. I can also see what are the included taxa for it. We can also look at the morphology and ecology and, ta ecology and taphonomy. So in ecology and taphonomy, you can see mammoths which are the mammoths. You will see that their diet is of grazers, the reproduction is viviparous, the life habitat is ground dwelling, the environment is terrestrial and their locomotion is actively mobile. You will get all this information for any taxon that you have searched and you will also see this option over here which is external literature search. When you click on it, the information that you see gives you the references of all the literature which is not a part of the database or the catalog map that you see. So the external literature tool comes very handy for any of the missing data which is not put on the catalog. The last tool which is age, range and collection has all the occurrences, the old ones and the new ones listed here. If I go to search panel, and I search fossil organism and I type a common name, say sharks. With the search tool, you can also explore the database using the collection record. So if I go to fossil collection record and I type the collection name or number. So if I type the name, which is Sukal Limestone Quarry, It should pull all the information of this collection and we can also see the authors and uh, yeah. So with this you can see the environmental information about this collection. You can see the preservation mode. You can also see the collection method which has been used. You can see all the references for this specific collection. Hope this tutorial on paleobiology database was useful, have fun exploring it. <laughs>